everyone, welcome to my channel, Ellie's Culture Craving. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about what it is I plan on making videos about and basically who I am and why you should watch me. So if you don't know, I'm officially a study tuber. My other channel has 7,000-ish subscribers and I make videos about studying and education and student life and I realised that there is stuff that I want to talk about which I want to on my channel but I can't and that is basically my obsessive TV watching habit that I have. Um, you guys may not know this or think this about me considering I am a student but I really obsessively watch TV shows, a select few TV shows as well but that's always growing and I'm always adding to it and basically because I'm this really obsessive watcher I notice patterns in things and as a literature student analysis is in my nature, um, picking things apart, noticing things that other people might not and um, measuring a show show significance based on its cultural impact and that's the sort of stuff I want to talk about on this channel. So I'm just going to give you a list of a couple of ideas of episodes, I suppose you could call it, of um, videos that I'm going to be filming. Um, so these are just some ideas, so if you're interested in any of this kind of content, stick around. Why is sex education American when it's British? Is it a private school or a state school in sex education? How does sex education deal with race, sexuality, gender? How far is sex education from reality? In Gilmore Girls, why Dean is the worst, why Jess is the best, but also why Jess is the worst? How Gilmore Girls deals with rejection? How do the relationships in Gilmore Girls function and where do they break down? Why do they break down? Why can't Lorelai actually make it work with her parents? Maybe Lorelai is the problem. Why Lorelai and Luke is the best part of this TV show? The 10 most motivational episodes of Gilmore Girls. Moving on to Big Bang Theory. Why Leonard is the absolute worst? The 10 most wholesome episodes of the Big Bang Theory. How accurate really is the Big Bang Theory. Why I stopped watching Riverdale. Why Riverdale is literally the worst thing that has ever been created. Why is Riverdale so addictive? How Riverdale gets teenagers so wrong. How Riverdale is so unrealistic. Why is Riverdale so unrealistic? But also things like why everyone fancies Villanelle. Why everyone fancies Joe from you. Someone explain this. Things like um, why Fleabag is such a perfect, perfect show. Um, how Fleabag deals with feminism, what gaps are there in Fleabag. Friends, why Rachel should have ended up with Joey, why Ross was a terrible boyfriend, why Rachel has a really good character arc, how Leonard in The Big Bang Theory has no character arc and he is just basically useless to the whole show. Ah, oh, why Rose is the best in Doctor Who, why Doctor Who kind of went south, what are the problems with the new Doctor Who, why it's so great that the Doctor is a girl, and then why it's not so great that the Doctor is a girl. And then as well as all this stuff, connections between the stuff I study in school and these texts, I find connections all the time between stuff I read in class and Doctor Who. These patterns exist and these shows are drawing on literature from across time and it's something that we should be talking about. For some reason my, my professors do not like it when I discuss Daleks in an essay which is about sci-fi and I want to because this is stuff that I grew up on as much as I grew up on books and I am a huge reader and I think that gives me the credibility to talk to you guys as a student where analysis is a big part of what I do and I take that into my TV watching habits. It's what I do. I think about these things and I rip them apart and whenever I find a new TV show I always have so many things to say and never get a chance and I feel like there are so many of you who like me want to talk about these shows but nothing goes into an up depth. It's always just like why Gilmore Girls is a great show or why, Gilmore, why you shouldn't watch Gilmore Girls and like I need more. <laughs> I need so much more. I just want to go into real depth about these things because I literally watch them over and over and over. And so I notice things and I just really want to share them with you guys. So this is my new channel, Ellie's Culture Craving. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey.